The images are graphic, violent. They show West Papuans being tortured by Indonesian soldiers. These brutal images have sparked global protests and social media campaigns around the world. As West Papua battles for independence, Indonesia refuses to relinquish power of the island and continues to deny any violence while locking out media from the island. It is one time too many that hoax and false allegations are circulated by individuals that are economically motivated by separatist agenda of Papua and their supporters. Many world leaders remain silent on human rights abuses in West Papua, while social media is ablaze with cases of injustice. So what is the deal with West Papua and why is New Zealand staying quiet too? Rewind to 1962, when Indonesia took over West Papua, then known as West Irian, from its Dutch colonisers. Seven years later, a UN referendum for independence was held for the indigenous West Papuans, with 1,000 leaders selected to vote for the entire population. But the Indonesian military threatened to kill anyone who voted for independence. President Suharto has now reluctantly agreed to play out the diplomatic charade. But West Darien is Indonesian, he says. The vote will be a mere formality. Once again securing their power over the island, rich in resources like gold and copper, it's little wonder Indonesia is ferocious in guarding its territory. Any mention of self-governance by West Papuans is violently quashed by Indonesia. There's allegations of genocide and human rights abuses of the island's indigenous people. Melanesian in culture and language, West Papua's strong Pacific link is why many island countries support its independence. Solomon Islands condemns the, the consistent human rights violation in, in, in West Papua. Only international action by individual countries and from the leading organizational bodies of the United of the, of the international system, especially the United Nations General Assembly, can pave the way for the recognition of a people whose right to self-determination had been denied for nearly 50 years ago. Indonesia is vocal in claiming what they believe is theirs. Mr. President, Papua and West Papua provinces are an integral and sovereign part of Indonesia. They will always remain an integral part of Indonesia. Indonesia is moving swiftly in the Pacific to gather support, applying promises of strong links and aid. And it's working in some cases. Indonesia came in with a lot of pressure, with aid, and with the diplomatic and political leveraging. So Fiji, from being pro-independence, and now is very pro-Indonesia. And New Zealand is also on this list. There's huge potential uh, between us from an economic perspective. Indonesia is one of New Zealand's closest allies and a powerful trade partner. Strategically, they're immensely important to us. But our close relationship has been criticised by supporters of West Papua. West Papuan activists in exile and their supporters have received little support from New Zealand over the years and are not likely to make major inroads against such a powerful Kiwi ally. We're very, very pleased at this time um, to uh, talk with us about the future relationship uh, between and Indonesia. And Indonesia carries on locking out the world to West Papua. If you slap the water in a bucket, then be careful that the water will splash all over your own face.